salute, 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 salute. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Welcome to the Real Big Food Podcast. I am your host, Big Food. The Michael Jordan of recording, but it ain't early in the morning. It's late in the evening, and it's the end of the year. And as you see, I'm dressed in all black, so you know what I'm doing. I'm doing a memory. And it's the end of the year, and I want to end the year off right. I want to say rest in peace, China. Myron Dukes. I know you have the shoe up there. And uh, I just want to say rest in peace, Myron Dukes. Uh, I want my subscribers to know I read my comments. And... Um, I slam dunk all alley oops, but at the same time, I try to respond and deliver on all request. Now I got a request from the state of Connecticut. First and foremost, shout out Connecticut. Connecticut showed me love. They liked the segment I did for China. They said it was honorable and they respected it. But at the same time, they asked me, could I do it over? Because I did it in my car. And it had an echo. So they was like, although they appreciated it, although they respected it, and I was humbled about it, they asked me to do it over. So that's what I'm doing tonight. So this is for Connecticut. Shout out to Connecticut. Real talk. This is for y'all. And I'm going to sit here and... You know, I bought this 1800 for shoe, and I drunk damn near most of it. But I saved some for China, because that's his little man. So I'm going to drink the rest of this. I'm going to finish this off for China, real talk. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to go into my memories of China. Now, I remember when China first came through Rack Challenge, son. C74, 1992. He was a little baby face kid, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, we was all kids at the time, 16, 17, 18 years old. And as we got to know each other, we got to talking about our cases, you know what I'm saying? And if my memory serves me correctly, China was locked up for a homicide, a, uh, a drug-related homicide, drug deal going bad type shit. Coming from Connecticut to New York, and I think in the process of the bad drug deal, a friend of his lost his life, and China ended up coming to jail. I'm trying to remember all the details, but um, it was something to that effect, and um, I kind of related to him early, because he more or less was, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, he was giving me the impression that his case was more or less him being incarcerated for the death of his friend with this drug deal going bad, if I'm not mistaken. I think that was the situation. And I kind of connected with him on that because, you know, everybody knew my case. I had some crazy shit going on myself. You know what I'm saying? So, I do remember that. And, um, like I said, you know, that was kind of, dude, that, was, that was some serious shit to deal with for a 16, 17 year old kid in a whole different state. You know what I'm saying? He was coming from Connecticut. He had to deal with that shit in New York. He had to deal with that racket silence shit. He had to deal with the New York judicial system. That shit was a lot. You know what I'm saying? But uh, he ain't been on, he ain't full. And with that C74 shit, you know, he went through his bumps. He went through his bruises. I told y'all about that shit. You know what I'm saying? Niggas up in four up and try to get out of four up and south side, little Marky and Roe and the niggas. He revenged himself. He blew Marky face off in front of the police. <laughs> he revenged himself. You know what I'm saying? Shoe stepped up. Shoe revenged the shit on Roe. Like, you know what I'm saying? So that shit was taken care of, real talk. You know what I'm saying? I remember when China. <laughs> China wet, China wet, a, a, a kid I grew up with, Spanish kid named Baby J. Yeah, Jermaine. 
I remember in the 80s, a family had moved in my hood up the block in Clarkson Avenue. Shout out to all them Clarkson Avenue niggas, man, Chewy and all them niggas. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what it is. A family, a Spanish family had moved over there on Clarkson Avenue. They was living in the Brownstone over there with Miss Wu. Shout out Miss Wu. She remembers Jermaine and Nate. You know what I'm saying? Those were my boys. You know what I'm saying? I used to go hang out with these niggas. So, Jermaine was... was was, was a friend of mine in the 80s when we was 9 and 10 and 11 years old. I think Jermaine moved to the Bronx. <laughs> Jermaine got on this Puerto Rican shit. Jermaine moved to the Bronx. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my Bodequas. So when Jermaine moved to the Bronx, I don't see him no more from like 86 to 92. <laughs> I don't see this motherfucker ever again from 86 to 92. When I see him in 92 and see 74, the nigga named Baby J. Oh shit, all right, cool, all right, do your thing. He was one of them little niggas who got caught up in some cuttings and shit. I think he was a, I think he was a handcuff order. <laughs> I think they made him a predicate cutter for some shit. China was a predicate gunner. So they don't need to, when they go to the yard, it's just the two of them. <laughs> and, you know, I guess when they was predicate gunners, you know, it was just the two of them. They only had the two of each other to deal with all day, every day. They probably only let them two in the shower together. You know what I'm saying? They probably only let them two niggas go to the yard together. We're going to get back to that shower shit in a minute. On some real grown man time, not no weirdo shit. You know what I'm saying? Because we don't grow man time on the real big food podcast. You know what I'm saying? So, something went left with Baby J in China. They sent them niggas to the yard, man. Trying to cut the shit out of Baby J, man. Yeah, China was letting it go, man. And I think... <clears throat> I think... He, he was a little disgruntled with me because I wasn't talking about that shit, man. But let me let you know, man. I'm doing it now, man. You ain't have to act like that with Big Fruit, man, because you wanted your, you wanted your little history told. You know what I'm saying? I'm down here drinking for you, telling your motherfucking story, man. You ain't have to go crazy and all that stupid shit. But that's 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 what under the bridge. We're going to celebrate you right now. Word of the mother. We're going to celebrate you and we're going to rock out for Connecticut because y'all asked me to do this. You know what I'm saying? We're going to end the year right. We're going to end 2022 right. You know what I'm saying? Uh... Yeah, so he blew Baby J ass. <laughs> Yo, I'm going to tell you some funny shit I said about the shower, right? Now, we in the bed. And, um... I don't know how this shit played out. But, somehow, me, China... A Spanish nigga ended up in the shower together. In the pit. We in the pit. And if I'm not mistaken, China was a predicate cutter. Cause China was a handcuff order, but he was in the shower. I guess a cool police was working. He knew me and China knew better. <laughs> Valley why he was working. Which we did. We wasn't going to violate when Pickering and them niggas were working. The niggas was letting us live. We knew better. But we had a Spanish nigga down there. He ain't know no better, right? You know how I get when I start turning my hat to the back and shit like that. So the Spanish nigga, he don't know, he don't, he really don't know no better. So the three of us in the shower. Now the Spanish nigga, he had a beef with this nigga, Steve in population, somehow, some way. And at the time, me and the nigga Steve was running around the building shaking shit up. So in the, in the Spanish nigga mind, he telling himself, yo, I got beef with this nigga Steve. This, this nigga, man, he gonna pop for this nigga. I'ma pop before he pop. He did what he was supposed to do, but he was wrong on that one. <laughs> he was wrong on that one. So we in the shower, the three of us, we talking and shit. Me and China talking, he off in the corner. He in the corner. I'm in the middle, China by the door, like by the... The, the, in the other corners, three showers. 
And while we talking and shit, I ain't, I ain't giving a nigga my back. You know what I'm saying? I'm giving a nigga my side because my back is facing the wall and shit. And I'm talking to China. I'm cutting my eye at the niggas. I don't know the nigga from nowhere. And I must have slept on the nigga, shit. Out of nowhere. I thought the nigga snuffed me. But the nigga stabbed me in my, like, my cheekbone with a pick. Right in the shower. Boom. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. China, man, yo, what the fuck? So the first thing China did, remember I told you, China was like by the uh the doorway. The first thing China did was China jumped out the doorway to see where the police was at. Boom, but when China jumped out the doorway, the police was like, yo, what the fuck are you doing? And China tried to tell yo, I tried to play it off with the police. And in that split second, I was on that nigga ass in that shower, son. I'm beating this nigga all over the shower. I'm trying to strangle this nigga with my motherfucking boxes. I'm trying to put them shits down that nigga throat, son. This, this is my line of flying, son. I'm trying to stuff a pair of boxes down this nigga throat. <laughs> Word up. I don't want the ink pen, the pencil. I don't want none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 I butt-ass nigga in my motherfucking slippers. I'm trying to shove my motherfucking boxes down this nigga throat, beating on this nigga in the shower. So, now... The police like, yo, what the fuck going on? The police cleaning the door. So China like, yo, the police coming, the police coming. <laughs> China funny nigga. China start walking to a cell. <laughs> China, you can hear slippers. China start walking to his motherfucking cell. I'm in there wilding on this nigga. Beating on this nigga. They come up in there, break the shit up. <laughs> Drag me out the shower, butt ass nigga. Go in there, get that nigga, take that nigga to the clinic. Yeah, man. And this is the shit China wanted me to talk about. He ain't never give me the fucking chance, man. <laughs> Whoa. Funny shit. True story. They had a little three-man click and one main bang. We all bang monsters at this time. It's over. You know what I'm saying? Once the niggas handcuffed me, they stamped the rest. See, what, what, what niggas don't know about that, me beating the brakes off the captain in the yard or the sergeant, whatever the fuck they call him on Ragged Sound. What dudes don't know is this. What I tried to explain was some shit popped off in the yard. And when it popped off in the yard, that was the reason why the squad came to the yard. Once the squad got there, the inmate on inmate incident was more or less contained and then it turned into a different incident when the Chinese nigga slapped me. Now it's a different incident. And I'm bugging, beating the shit on this nigga, giving this nigga the business. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, we all being monsters by because they, and they stamped the rebel. And I say that to say, remember I told you it started out with an incident in the yard. Before my incident with the captain, sergeant, whatever the fuck they call That incident that popped off, they stamped revolution on that shit. Because niggas were screaming revolution in the yard. This is when the revolution shit started in C-74. See, this is a part of C-74 history I didn't never mention on them St. Last stories. I never mentioned when I talked about the boys. But I'm going to talk about it today while I'm talking about China. Yeah, niggas was screaming revolution in the yard when that incident happened. So, yo, niggas turned into Bing Monsters, son. I was shut down. Shadow was shut down. China was shut down. Uh, they had a, another homie named Ja Rage who was shut down. So they got a three-man crew. <laughs> Shadow, China, and Ja Rage. These some funny three motherfuckers when they together, boy. All they do is sit on the gate scheming plot, make sure the motherfucker suicide aid ain't violating, man. Right? On this particular day, if I'm not mistaken, we had pizza. Shadow gonna have to jump in the comments and remind me about this shit. He know what I'm talking about. He gonna laugh when he hear this shit. We had either pizza or some shit, right? And a adult nigga, he was the suicide aide. <laughs> and he did some flim flam shit fucking with the pizza. Either he didn't feed them niggas, or he was trying to dead niggas on the extras. But somehow, 
that three man crew was on it. <laughs> China, Shadow, and motherfucking Jai Rage was on it. Right? And I don't know what happened, but <laughs> China, a funny motherfucker, boy. Shadow, yo, Shadow, you remember this shit. I don't know what happened, but somehow Shadow, China and fucking Shadow <laughs> convinced this nigga Jab. I, I think Jab H had to come out of his cell for something, and the, the suicide nigga was out there. He ain't had no burner. He was leery, and they convinced this nigga. <laughs> yo, if I'm lying, I'm flying. Yo, Shadow, you remember this shit? They convinced this nigga to make a fake banger. I think out of cardboard and then wrap aluminum foil around it to make it look like a knife. Some crazy shit, son. <laughs> Yo, I think the nigga did it, came out the cell with it, bluffed the nigga. I can't remember, but I think the nigga did it. If I, if I remember correctly, the nigga made the fake knife. He came out the cell in the bin. He chased the dope nigga around. Some funny shit, man. But yeah, China, China gas that nigga up, man. <laughs> yeah, man. China and Shadow, man. The niggas was all right, man. And I don't know, man. It's China just, you know, I don't know. After the fall building, we all went on our journeys with that rat up north shit. And like I said, once we left C74 in 93, I never seen China again a day in my life. So we never was in a prison together. We was never in a box together. We wasn't writing each other. Nothing. So I really don't know what transpired with him after C74, 1993. You know what I'm saying? We all went on our journeys. We all went through our motherfucking bumps and bruises with this, in the system. You know what I'm saying? We all had to grow from boys to men in that shit. And then we all had to come home and readjust to this new world. And he 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 adjusted it on his terms. He adjusted to this new shit on his terms. And it just was a bad look for him, man. It just was a bad look. It was just a bad look. But um, like I said, I'm I'm celebrating him in this little video, man, because the last joint I did in the car, it was suspect, and Connecticut called me out on it. Salutes to Connecticut, big ups to Connecticut for speaking up, and I, although I'm big fool, I'm man enough to say when I'm wrong, I was wrong for that. I should have been redid that video, but I'm making sure I redo it in 2022 before the new year start. So it's done. Shout out to Connecticut. <laughs> they had their foot on my neck. Move them up. Shout out to Golden Era Connecticut on motherfucking um uh, Instagram. I be watching y'all, man. Y'all do what y'all do. I be watching y'all. Y'all do what y'all do. Real talk. Yeah. Uh, like I said, man, this was for China, man. A.K.A. Mining Dukes. Yeah, China was all right, man. I don't know, man. You know, shit just went left. He grew bitter about some things, and he rubbed, rubbed some people the wrong way, and he chose to live his life a certain way, and that led to his untimely demise. And we gonna mourn him. We gonna miss him. I miss talking about him to shadow yo this motherfucker type. I miss cursing him out now. You know what I'm saying? I really do. Cause that was the little homie. But uh, like I said, him and shoe together right now, and it's all good. You know what I'm saying? And speaking of shoot, y'all know January 5th is going down, 9 a.m. One Troy Avenue, Brooklyn, New York. They're gonna send the homie off right. They gonna send the homie off right. Rest in peace, you shine. Rest in peace, China. Yeah, I'm gonna miss both of y'all, man. Salute. Word the mother. Salute. There you have it. Your boy Big Fruit.
signing off saying rest in peace China boy aka Mighty Dudes Salutes